your morning yogurt container, the reusable cup you sip afternoon coffee from, Canadian dollar bills, the car bumper protecting your family on a summer road trip, the carpet under your feet. These products are made with a recyclable plastic polymer called polypropylene. Polypropylene is identified on your commonly used items by this symbol. It is one of the most widely used plastics in the world. On average, close to $1 billion of polypropylene is imported into Canada each year. Interpipeline is about to introduce a homegrown alternative. The fundamental feedstock in polypropylene is propane. For years, Alberta has produced an abundance of propane that is low in value but high in potential. It's the potential for well-paying jobs, a more diversified economy, and greater access for Canadian products in foreign markets. Today, producers send Canadian propane south of the border, where it becomes polypropylene before being shipped back to us at a higher cost. Interpipeline plans to change that with the Heartland Petrochemical Complex, an innovative facility strategically located in Alberta's industrial heartland, northeast of Edmonton. The Heartland Complex will leverage state-of-the-art technology to transform some of our Canadian propane into polypropylene. How does propane become polypropylene? For Interpipeline, this begins in northern Alberta, where we have facilities in place to remove liquids from off-gas produced during our customers' bitumen upgrading processes. The liquids from off-gas, which contain a blend of propane, butane, propylene, ethane, ethylene, and other hydrocarbons, are then transported by pipeline to our red water fractionation plant. This is where we separate the propane. This supply, along with propane sourced from other local producers, will be processed into roughly 525,000 tons of polypropylene each year. The Heartland Complex will house two operations, a propane dehydrogenation PDH facility and polypropylene PP plant that work together to convert the propane to our end product. Here's how it works. First, at the PDH facility, a high-temperature platinum-based catalyst separates hydrogen atoms from propane molecules. These new molecules, now missing two hydrogen atoms, are called propylene. Propylene is still a gas, much like propane, but because of its missing hydrogen, it is in an ideal state to join with other molecules to eventually form products that we can touch and feel. Second, at the PP plant, our newly formed propylene molecules are put through a process called polymerization. This encourages propylene molecules to bond. They join by the thousands. Poly, meaning many, creating a recyclable plastic. This plastic is then pressed through an extruder to produce these polypropylene pellets. This process is so efficient, it only takes 12 kilograms of propane to produce 10 kilograms of polypropylene. The pellets will then be transported by rail to potential customers here in Canada, across the continent and abroad. We at Interpipeline have the entrepreneurial spirit, the resources, and the expertise to make this happen. It means creating more than 13,000 employment opportunities for hard-working Canadians. It means more money being invested and earned right here in Alberta. It means a better way of doing business. Canada's first integrated PDH and PP plant mean more opportunity, more diversification, and more innovation than ever.